Well, I did it. I finally did it. I finally got off my lazy end and made some new graphics for my character. And to celebrate, I'm gonna try and reformat my videos a little bit. Why don't I compare two Minecraft mods? No winging it to full gameplay videos this time. I'm going to try and put some work into this one. As you know, Bell likes Minecraft. He also likes animals. What kind of animals? All kinds! But in this video, we'll be showcasing Arctic animals with two Minecraft Arctic Animal Mods. The mods in question are Wildlife Arctic by Pixelheads and Arctic Animals by Team Varian. Two very similar packs. Let's see! No more screwing around, let's go! First, I want to showcase some of my favorite mod creators. Cyclone Studios, for example, is a really good texture and skin creator. I think they might even have a few worlds. This is their Frostbite pack. And <laughs> you want to play as a cool badass demon or a nicely textured yeti? They got you covered. Bigfoot, snowmen, polar bears, that thing, he's awesome, I guess. The only one I'm really not that satisfied with is that one, but that's just bad for you, really. Both mod packs give you a series of different skin packs. They're about comparable in quality. These are Team Varian's Arctic Animal skin packs. And here's Arctic Wildlife skin packs. Again, comparable quality, but... Santa! Yes! I do want to show off some of my other skins that I got. 57 Digital made that chicken. It's in their neat farm animals pack. Well, their second one. First one's not that good. Of course, there's that hippo from Cyclone Designs Animal Kingdom. Changed into Cyclone Studios polar bear. Not sure where I found this kiwi. I think this was a free skin, and also that frog from that guy Jay. Lots of good ones here. Alright, enough malarkey. Let's get on with the show. The first thing you see when you boot up Arctic Wildlife, or Wildlife Arctic, is this nice detailed map and a snowsuit. You start off in this large two-story cabin. You can pick any room or loot all the rooms you can, but I prefer to one on the second story because, I don't know, I just like being higher up. Hmm, let me pick a number at random. Um... Uh, I, I, I guess 17's a nice number. I'll pick that room. Each room has a bed that you can't sleep on because it's made of terracotta, a snowsuit, and a treasure chest filled with goodies. Now, when they give you an iron sword, why would you use a gold sword? Gold is so fragile, and that's kind of cool because that's true in real life. I don't get why in a lot of video games gold is very high quality armor when it shouldn't be. And you got a bunch of food, some snowmobiles, a compass, a pickaxe, all the basics. Plus, don't forget your Wildlife Arctic Manual! Alright, got my snowsuit on and it's time to go out into the open world. The world is my oyster. There's lots of snowmobiles to ride around in. Sweetness! Alright. But to be honest, I want to go ride the ski lift. It, but the... What the fuck, man? Urgh. Oh, hi there, little doggo. Do people still use the word doggo? Well, apparently it's mine. I own it, I guess. It's sitting on command. I don't remember taming it. And well, let's go to the ski left. And uh, here we are. At the ski left. Just grab a minecart, and I'm still affected by that stupid weather skeleton. No idea where it came from. Place the minecart on the track, and... 
Here we go! Uh, I guess I have to put it up there. Ah, sometimes a ride like this is relaxing, because you get to take in the sights. You can't see very far if you got the anti-analyzing down, but this is a big world. Pixelheads did put quite a lot of effort into this world. And I can't wait to show you some of the animals. Just looking down on it. Wait, what the? No. Ah! The ski lift is broken. What happened? Wait, th this. What? How? Ugh. Uh, look, is that a piece over there? And there's my. Uh. How did this happen? Why are the pieces all over the place? Alright, so the ski lift is no good, unfortunately. This is an error they haven't fixed. And, to be honest, I've contacted them on Twitter. I don't think they got my messages. I don't think they're ever going to fix this, unfortunately. So let's move on to the other hack. You start in this cabin. There is a treasure chest filled with fish and wheat. Okay. Ooh, more treasure chests. What do we got here? Oh, more fish and wheat. Whatever. I have a feeling that last chest isn't worth checking out either. So I'm just going to go out here and... Ooh. Well, these are interesting. What are we at here? Oh, it looks like little standees. Telling you all the magnificent animals that appear in this pack. No reading through that boring text in the other pack. You just get these simple and to-the-point standees. Ooh, you can ride a beluga whale? Nice. They're kind of cute. This just gives you an idea of what you're in for, as that cute little snow owl flies by. Aww. A lot of these warms the cockles of my heart, tell you the truth. <laughs> what is this? I already found a mammoth? That was quick. Uh, I think they're herbivores, right? Feed them weight, I guess. Is it gonna be tamed? Come on, be tamed, you doofus! They look kinda good for Minecraft mammoth. Not great, but eh. Again, it's Minecraft. Well, at least let me get on him. Although I don't think a big crevice like this with very confined spaces is the best way to test out how a mammoth controls, but from what I can tell, it's a little tanky, but it feels natural. I could understand having fun riding one of these things. And they're a lot easier to tame than the mammoths in the other animals. But are they as fun to control? Hmm, let me get back to you on that one. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, one of the big draws of both of these packs is to be able to ride a mammoth. Aw, I heart snuffy. Mammoths are awesome. In addition, both games offer over 20 mobs. I don't want to show you all of them, but I will show you a little sample of the other animals in Wildlife Arctic. See, while Wildlife Animals doesn't have cute little sea otters, it does still have penguins and snow owls, and a bunch of other things, like musk oxen, seals, mountain goats, and of course grizzly bears. That's my universal bear song. A little snow owl. Hi, Hedwig. Oh yeah, and Gingerbread Man. 
There is one problem, however, with the summoning system if you're to do this in creative mode. Watch what happens. Hey, that's not a polar bear. That's not a polar bear. There we go. You see, when you select a creature egg, some of them will summon the animal you want to summon every single time. But others, like the polar bear, will summon polar bears sometimes but summon other creatures other times. It can get kind of annoying. Team Varian's pack doesn't have that problem. In Arctic Animals, you want to summon a Smilodon? Go ahead. They're kind of pussies, though. Heh, <laughs> not like Wildlife Arctic has any saber-toothed tigers. And the mammoths kind of look cooler in this one. Well, they don't share all the same animals. They do share quite a bit. But this one has more sea life. Like orcas, beluga whales, that don't appear in the other pack. In addition, you can ride beluga whales in this game. And being around beluga whales helps you breathe underwater. Not sure how to ride them, but it says so on their big standee. Underwater, even pinnipreds swim fluidly. In Wildlife Arctic, they kind of just... Whoop. But let's say you want a big boss animal to fight. Wildlife Arctic has you covered. I present to you, in all his fat, rumply splendor, the... Muskox stuck in the ceiling. As I was saying, in all his fat, rumply splendor, the Pacific Walrus! Oh, hello there. You wish to challenge me, you fleshless wimp? Bring it on! As someone who likes picking fights with big animals in video games, assuming I'm also playing as an animal, you can easily make this walrus into a fairly tough boss. Like any good fat monster, he is fairly tanky, and takes a lot of hits if you are only using your bare fist or a stick. Unfortunately, the walrus in Arctic Animals is a wimp. You can repel him quite easily, and even if he does attack, he doesn't do very much damage, and more often than not, he's just gonna run away. Stand up for yourself and fight, you wimp! Another thing you can do in these mod packs, of course, is explore the surroundings. Both packs have some various locations that you can explore. In general, Wildlife Arctic has a little more to offer than Arctic animals. Like, for example, what is this fancy building I'm coming up to right now? Oh man, someone just has this big mansion out in the middle of nowhere. It's very colorful inside here. Could this be the fabled North Pole in Santa's workshop? Could be. Oh, what do we got here? A stable? There's Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and... Where's Vixen? I'm not seeing the other five reindeers either. Hmm. Hello, Vexen! What are you doing here? Alright, just get the leash. Animals always struggle when you have to leash them. Alright, Vixen, time to go back to your pen. Come on, Vixen. You don't want to make me angry. An angry polar bear is not something you want to evoke. 
All right, now just get in here. Eh, that wasn't as, nope. Stay in here. Vixen. All right, ha. All right. But I still haven't found the man himself. Wait, is that? Could it be? Santa! Oh my god! Bruh, are you for real? I do kind of wish Arctic animals had a little more to explore, but for the most part, it's just a big ship and an oil rig. And then once you go beyond the forest, you'll basically run into generic standard Minecraft territory. Didn't feel like they put as much effort into the world. Still, I could show you a little of both locations. I don't want to show you too much because I don't want to spoil too much. But, I could just show you a little bit. I could also show you better terrain to use the Mammoth on. Something open like this. It's a bit more practical than trying to traverse with a Mammoth in a ravine. Yeah, that's much easier. Look, there's a couple of cute little sea otters. Oh, who doesn't love sea otters? Manny, get out of the way! No. Oh. Alright, let's see what this ship has to offer. Huh, what is this? What? Women? Men? Ah, oh, they're Lutree. Got it. All right, a dining hall. Yes, let's see what's cooking. With a little role playing, you can be the chef. And that's one of the cool things about this chef. It's good for role playing. Knock, knock. Room service. Yeah, you got this weird, what, an ender portal? Okay. Not sure why you'd want that in your bedroom, but you would want a TV and a bed that, again, you can't sleep on because it's made of rugs. Who comes up with that? But, hey, you could be room service. You could be the bellhop. That's one of the cool things about this show. Oh, I almost forgot. What about those mammoths in Wildlife Arctic? Introducing one of Wildlife Arctic's biggest draws, the Yeti Cave. This is where your mammoths are, but it's also where dangerous yetis are, too. But as long as you got Snuffy by your side, what do you have to fear? Once you get far enough into the cave, you will find a chest filled with goodies that will help you thaw out a mammoth. The chest even comes with some instructions. Uh, let's see here. Give blaze powder to frozen mammoth to thaw it. After you've done that, it will be tamed and rideable. Wow, that sounds easy. Let's get crack lacking on that. Blaze powder. Do, 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 do. I think I should be good there. Now all that's left is to find one of the big woolly bullies. Oh, whoa, what do we got here? Hey, there's one! Um, okay, this might be difficult. Ah! Water! Uh, maybe I should have chosen one in a better location. There are easier mammoths to get at than this one. No! I'm Belle! I like a challenge! Alright. Get the blaze powder. How hard can it be to get this mammoth out of this icy prison? I know I didn't exactly pick the best location. Like I said, there are better mammoths to collect, but... Ah! Ow, 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 ow! Ugh, mammoth's too high up. Okay, this is gonna take some work, apparently. In the meantime, 
I feel like showing off this drawing I did of one of the Iron Golem rhinos from Cyclone Designs Animal Kingdom. This is my interpretation. Of course, I took a few liberties, but isn't he awesome? After about 30 minutes of struggling to free the poor guy when I probably should have tried to find an easier mammoth to save, I finally saved Wooly Bully, my new pet mammoth. And to be honest, he controls way better than I thought he would. There isn't a whole lot of weight to his movements like the mammoth and arctic animal. It feels way smoother than it should. But I don't mind. It feels good. I just don't expect a mammoth to move like this. I expect it to be a lumbering giant. But who cares? Not everyone shares that sentiment. Before we end this comparison, the time has finally come to raid the Yetis a bowl. Come here, shrimp. Let me show you what a real woolly bully is like. He will stomp and bump and breathe. <laughs> that was easy for the mammoth. They're pretty tough if you fight them alone. And there's usually three of them. I wonder... Hmm. Huh. I guess the other two were cannibalized. Alright. Raid chest. Get loot. Push start to rich! Alright, I think that just about does it. Did either of these two mods give you any desire to try them out? If you ask me, I... Kinda preferred Wildlife Arctic by Pixel Heads, although it does feel unpolished and buggy, what with the broken ski lift and the pinnipreds not working in water. While it looks like Team Varian put more effort into their actual animals with Arctic animals. But, if you wish to try out one of these, it's up to you. Until next time, I'm Balf, and the cave is closed.